Hello, Anthem uh, Community Church uh, family. Uh, we find ourselves in some difficult times. Uh, you don't need me to tell you that a lot's happening in the world and a lot's happening in our country. And uh, so we are having to make some decisions about church and how we gather and those kinds of things. So I'm going to tell you what we're going to do, and then I'm going to tell you a little bit about why, and, uh, and then we can go from there. Uh, starting this Sunday, we're not going to gather as a church. Uh, we're going to uh, do online service only. We're going to have an 8 o'clock, a 9.30, and 11. At this point, we're going to have music with that, although uh, you need to understand that that might in itself change uh, over the next couple of days uh, as we get ready for that. But our plan for now is an 8 o'clock, a 9.30, and 11 o'clock live stream service uh, where I am indeed going to preach to the empty seats. Last week I made a joke about that in the 930 service about me and LeBron James. And um, it won't be the first time I've preached to empty seats uh, growing up. And as a uh, young youth pastor, I used to practice preaching to empty seats all the time. So it'd be like old days. But I know that it won't be empty because I know you're going to be watching. And I'm going to trust that you're going to be watching and you're going to pick either 8 o'clock, 930 or 11. And you're going to tune in and you're going to watch and you're going to watch the whole thing. And you're going to set your family around and you're going to watch. You're not going to do eight time, eight things with just this in the background. You're actually going to participate in the worship. And so we're going to do uh, uh, worship this way, at least for the next, probably for the next three weeks, um, because that seems to be what everybody is kind of saying. When all of the sports shuts down and when uh, colleges send all their ki- all the students home and and when they cancel all their spring sports and Disneyland closes and Disney World closes and all of this stuff has happened. So we've got to pay attention. We've got to pay attention to our authorities uh, and understanding that they don't know everything and they're trying to figure things out. And so we're doing this for a couple of reasons. One is we think it's the safest uh, thing for us health wise. Uh, we also want to set an example to our community uh, that we are not um, just flying in the face and saying, you know, we're gonna we're gonna meet regardless of whatever happens. I don't think that that is the message that we need to send out to people who we want to try to reach with the gospel. And so I know for some, I know for some, uh, you're like, oh, absolutely, this is the best thing. And for some of you, you're saying it's an overreaction, and I get that. And then there's some of us that are in the middle. I'm concerned. Uh, and then at the same time, I think, well, maybe, uh, maybe not. I don't know. Uh, I do know that I did this. My father uh, will turn 80 years old next next month. He still works. He works Monday through Friday at a grocery store. I called him a couple of days ago and said, hey, you need to tell your boss you're not coming into work. I called him this morning, Friday morning. He was at work. And I said, Dad, go home. And uh, if your boss needs to talk to me, just tell him your son's a pastor. And in the South, when your son's a pastor, it carries a little weight. And uh, so he went home. Uh, So we're taking this seriously. Uh, Be careful. We need to be careful. We don't want to panic. But we don't want to be dumb. And we also don't want to pretend that we are infectious disease experts. And so anytime you might say something like, well, this is overblown or whatever, like, really, what, what are you basing that on? Are you basing that on all of your knowledge and expertise and study of infectious disease, or are you just basing it on a feeling? And if you've been around Anthem long enough, you know that we don't trust feelings. We manage our feelings. Uh, so we're going to renew our minds, manage our feelings so that our behavior can be changed. And so the way that we're going to behave for at least the next three weeks as a church is we're going to do online church. I'm going to encourage you to do that. Sit with your family, watch those services or whatever hour you choose. Um, There's a give button on there and there's ways to give. We ask that you please give. Uh, We have uh, rent to pay and we have payroll to make and we have all the things that we need to do. And who knows how we're going to need to help our community in the coming weeks. So if you will continue to give faithfully uh, that way, that will be fantastic. We are also looking at some ways uh, during the week, maybe on a Tuesday night, of having a family worship experience where you can gather your children around and they can have their form of Sunday school uh, that they're used to having. Uh, Our youth are talking about, uh, Pastor David is looking into that as well as ways to do some things with our students. Uh, We may do a midweek Bible study with me and uh, we'll live stream it and let you watch and we'll have some Bible study time. And there's no sports to watch, so what else are we going to do, huh? Um, which is really kind of weird. I was thinking about that yesterday. It's like, I'm going to come home from church Sunday and I'm going to look around like, what am I going to watch? Because Sunday afternoon has got to have some kind of sports, but not for the next little bit. 
So I want to read a passage of Scripture from Romans chapter 13. Uh, we know the, the president's going to come on in about an hour uh, from the time that we are doing this. And from all indications, he's going to give uh, some sort of uh, national state of emergency. But this is what Romans chapter 13, verse 1 says, Everyone must submit to governing authorities, for all authority comes from God, and those in positions of authority have been placed there by God. In verse 5, he says, So you must submit to them not only to avoid punishment, but also to keep a clear conscience. But also to keep a clear conscience. And that's what we're doing as a church. We're going to keep a clear conscience. We're going to do everything that we can to make sure that we're helping and doing our part for us to get over the coronavirus uh, situation so that we can get back to living life the way that we're used to living it. Uh, So... That's what we're doing for church. So what about Pure Heart Weekend that's coming up and Serve Day and Youth Group and all of the stepping stones and all of the other things that we do? For now, all of those things are being suspended. Uh, we're not counseling, canceling them. We're postponing. We're suspending them till we can bring them back. Uh, so our church is going to be uh, on a screen uh, for the next few weeks. And we'll do some things. We'll do that every Sunday like we're used to. But we'll also be adding some stuff during the week. Uh, If you have any questions, please let me know. Uh, You can reach out to me. Uh, You can reach out to somebody on staff. Uh, If you are in a community group and you feel okay with meeting as a community group, I highly encourage you to do that. Unless our government officials come in and tell us to do differently with that, then if they do, then we need to obey that and we need to listen to that. We need to set the standard for that. So if... Anything that can come out of this is we should all be able to have some real quality uh, family time uh, in the in the next few weeks. Uh, I would ask for one thing to pray for people like a situation like I am. We've got students who are in different parts of the country that are in college that things have been shut down and we've tried to figure out the best way to get them home. And so uh, be thinking about that and um, among many other things uh, that are happening in this. So God's got this. Uh, we're going to we're going to have faith, not fear, and we're going to worship and not worry. So let me say that again. We're going to have faith and we're not going to be afraid. We're going to have faith instead of fear and we're going to worship instead of worry. Uh, God's got this. He's going to lead us through and as his church. We're going to trust Him and be the light that we need to be to a world that desperately needs it. Can't wait till we all gather again, and it'll be a fantastic celebration when we do. Talk to you soon.